Hi everyone, welcome back to Codera. In this video, we'll be discussing the problem B from the latest Code Forces Global Round 17. So let us first quickly read the problem statement. So the problem says that you have been given an array and uh, that array can be palindrome right let's say you are given an array so that array uh, or an array is a palindrome when the bi uh, when the uh, element from the back is equal to the uh, element at the front right so uh, that when the bi element from the back is equal to the uh, b of uh, m plus 1 minus ith element from the back right so what does this mean so let me tell you about a palindromes a little bit so let's say this was my array 1 2 3 4 and 5 right let's say this was my array so if this element is equal to this element if this element is equal to this element and this element is equal to this element so in that case you will say that a, a of i for a particular array i a of i let's say the size is n so a of i will be equal to nothing but a of n minus i minus 1 right so in the in if all the elements are equal for the all i's uh, up till the halfway mark so then in that case you will say that, that the array is palindrome right now let's read the problem statement further so the problem says that our uh, an array can be k k palindrome if if the particular situation solved and the situation is that you can choose some integer let's say x that is some you can choose some random uh, randomly you can choose any element of the array and you can delete some uh, some in some occurrences of that uh, so I have that particular element that you have chosen and in the end you have to tell that after deleting that particular element some number of times maybe zero or maybe you can delete all the occurrences of that particular uh, element in the array and you have to tell that after that uh, the new array that is uh, that you generate after deleting all the elements uh, all the instances of that element x you have to tell whether the new array is palindromic or not right so you have to know that uh, you don't have to delete all the elements equal to x but you can do that and you uh, like you can delete zero or more occurrences of that particular element x so let's say if the if this is one to one right if this is one to one then let's say let's say this this array is already this array is palindrome as well as this is calendrome right this is calendrome why because let's say let's say you choose this element 2 and you delete it so the, the array will look like 1 and 1 so this will be a calendrome right also one more thing that you can let, let's say you choose this one and you do not delete any of its occurrences then in that case also this array you can see that it is palindromic in nature right let's take this test case 3 1 2 3 1 right so if you take this case 3 1 2 3 1 or let me just quickly write it 3 1 2 3 1 so if you take this case so in this case you will notice that uh, notice that this is not not palindrome right because this is not palindrome so how can we make it palindrome after relating some occurrences so let's say let's say you see this okay you can see this index and this index so the both the indexes are not equal right so since these both are not equal so what you can do is you can either delete the occurrences of 3 or you can delete occurrences of one right one more thing that you need to notice is that you can what you will be doing is once you get uh, once you once you get this that ai is not equal to a of n minus i minus 1 in this case what will you do is you will you will check for both okay you will uh, you will first of all try to delete occurrences of some occurrences of a and some occurrences of this element the ith element as well as some occurrences of the n minus 1 minus ith element right so what 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 can be the optimal strategy for this so for this let's say you choose some number x right so what i what i want to say is that if you are choosing some more number x so why not remove all the occurrences of it right why not remove all the occurrences all the occurrences all the occurrences of x from the array why you should do this you should do this because if it is palindrome and you uh, if after removing some occurrences if it is palindrome then after removing all the occurrences also it will be palindrome and it will be optimal for us to choose some x and remove all the occurrences because what will happen after that after that you will be able to exactly figure out that whether or not it it can be made calendrome or not right so how let us look at this example so let's say let's say you do you pick this and you change you pick this element 3 and you remove one occurrences of it so it will be 1 2 3 right you can see that this is not calendrome but what if you remove all the occurrences of it if you remove all the occurrences then you will be able to figure out that whether or not it can be uh, it can be made calendrome or not right so if you take this 3 and you remove all its occurrences so now it will be 1 2 and 1 let's uh, there was one uh, let's say there is one here as well okay so this will be 1 2 and 1 right so this is what this is calendrome right there can be uh, this is the first case that can happen right what is the second case that can happen 
let's say now instead of instead of removing this three you uh, instead of removing this three you remove this occurrences of ones right you remove all the occurrences of one so in this way what will happen this will be nothing but three two and three right so since this is three two and three so now you can see that this is also calendrome right so in this way whenever you get whenever you get a situation says that your ai is not equal to uh, is not equal to a of n minus 1 minus i so in uh, such situation you first of all need to check that when i remove the aith element all the occurrences of aith element from that array then will i be able to get some will i be able to make the array array as the remaining array as palindrome or not and similarly you need to check for this also that if i remove some occurrences of this some occurrences of this element n minus 1 minus i th element then you need to check that whether or not you can make the array as palindrome or not after removing all the occurrences of the n minus 1 minus i th element if for any of these cases if by removing any either the a i th element or uh, or the a of n minus 1 minus i th element if by removing any of the particular element all the occurrences of the any of these two pulte any of this element if after that your error becomes palindrome then you will print that yes it is a calendrome you will print yes otherwise you will print a no because in that case otherwise it will never be possible for you to do this now let's look at some of the sample test cases more to have a better understanding of this so let me just copy the code for this uh, not copy the code but let me just copy some of the test cases so that we can discuss upon them as well okay so this is the uh, example so if if you have let's say you have only one element right if n is equal to one also like these some of the uh, uh, besides this also you need to discuss some of the test cases right so one test case can be let uh, one edge case can be let let's say n is equal to one so if n is equal to one if there is only one element right if there is only one element then in that case what you will say you will always return yes because it is always calendrome or calendrome right after this let's say n is equal to 2 and there is element like let's say 3 and 2 so you can remove this element 2 and then you will get only 3 so that is why if n is 2 also then you will also say yes right and then there will be cases when n is greater than 2 right so n is greater or equal to 3 so in all such cases what you will be doing is in all such cases like let's let's discuss this case let's make some space for it and let's quickly discuss these test cases so let's say you have been given one two and three right so if you have if you are given one two and three, then in that case what you will you do if you are given one two and three so you can see that this is not calendrome right so for this case you will print no for this one four four one and four so you can see these this and this element are not equal so what you can do is either you remove all the occurrences of one so if you remove all the occurrences of one so it will look like four four and four and you can see this is palindrome or you can do another thing that you can remove all the occurrences of four right so if you remove all the occurrences four then it will look like one and one so this is also palindrome right so in this way if you uh, if you if you for a particular i if you get a uh, situation such that a of i is not equal to a of n minus one minus i then first of all you can try to remove all the occurrences of ai and check that whether the new uh, the remaining array the uh, array accept all the occurrences of ai if it is palindrome then in that case you will print a yes or you can say that if uh, uh, by removing all the occurrences of a my n minus one minus i th element if the array becomes palindrome so in that case also you'll say yes it can be made as calendrome right so let's quickly uh, see the uh, also one more thing that before moving on so uh, like what will happen in that case right so you will uh, talk about the time and the space complexity so let me first show you the code part for this and then we'll also discuss about the time and the space complexity because some people might have confusion regarding this right so what will what we'll be doing is first of all we'll be taking n as an input then after that uh, after that we'll be declaring the vector uh, then you will take the uh, all the inputs in a vector or a list after that you will mark your flag as one indicating indicating that uh, indicating that yes you can do it right because if, if you will do this then you will not uh, you will mark it as one so in that case you will be covering uh, covering the cases when is n is equal equal to one and n is equal equal to two because in all these uh, both these test cases when n is equal to one and n is equal to two the answer will be yes that is why i am marking my flag as one and after that what i'll be doing is i'll be checking what i'll be checking also i am doing flag as one because i am initially assuming that my array is palindrome right given array is palindrome and i will check that if my uh, if my if any of my element vi is not equal to the n minus 1 minus ith element that is element from the front is not equal to the element from the back uh, because only then i can say if both of the elements are equal then only i can say right that the array is palindromic in nature so i'll i'll check 
I'll mark my uh, in my flag variable I'll store the check palindrome function where first of all I'll be passing the vector v and I will be removing all the occurrences of vi element right I'll be removing all the occurrences of vi and if this function gives me one or true then in that case I will say that yes I can make it as palindrome and I will also check that uh, uh, by removing the uh, n minus 1 minus ith element from this uh, array and I will see that whether or not uh, the array is palindrome or not even after removing this element so if that is uh, after that what I'll do is I'll simply break because I do not need to check for all the other elements because if that is not the case so my uh, flag will be marked as 0 if bo for both the elements after removing instances of both the elements all the instances of both the elements uh, uh, one at a time if I'm not able to make my array palindrome then I can never make it as a palindrome right so after this what I will be doing is uh, I have written a check palindrome function in which in this what I am doing is notice that I am not using any extra space for my code so what I have done is in my n I have stored the size of the vector after that I, I have got an uh, element x that is the element uh, in my x either I will be having at one point of time I will be having either oh, it will be equal to vi or, uh, or if I am calling the second time so my x will be equal to uh, nothing but v of n minus 1 minus ith element okay after this what I will check is I will uh, I will mark to uh, since I'm checking the palindrome, no, so I'll first of all mark my i as 0 and j my as n minus 1. After that, uh, I'll I'll write a while condition that is i is less than j and I'll check this if my vi is equal to equal to x. So in that case, I'll need to I'll need I do not need to consider I need do not need to check that element because I'll be uh, I'll, I'll need to move ahead right because I'm assuming that this element does not exist. I'm removing all the occurrences of this element from the array. Okay. After that, if if my if from, from my end also if uh, I encounter uh, some j index as that it's it is also equal to x and in that case I'll do a j minus minus. After that, if it happens that if my uh, ith element from the beginning and jth element from the end if they are not equal, so in that case I will say that even after removing all the occurrences of x and y, my uh, my array is not palindrome. So in that case I'll return uh, zero. That means that. Uh, by removing all the occurrences of uh, uh, either vi or uh, ith element or the n minus 1 minus ith element from the original array uh, the it is not possible to make it palindrome otherwise i'll update my uh, pointers both the pointers i'll move my i ahead and i'll move my j back and in the end if if i do not uh, terminate uh, this uh, of the out of this while loop uh, uh, abruptly then i will say that i can definitely make my array as palindrome and in that case i'll be printing a yes right so this is the code for this problem in case if you have any doubt with this problem so you can mention that in the comments and what you can do is you can subscribe the channel for more such video editorials and thank you everyone for watching and till then take care